Okay. Okay. So hello everyone. Uh, actually, we not put uh, the questions for you guys because no, not many time for my vision. Uh, however, I will um, share with you guys about the project I'm uh, I have been running. It's called Be a Brave Vietnamese, and we come to um, what truly happened. Um, 2008. It was um, the reported number of children that was uh, sexually abused in Vietnam in 2020 alone. And 97% of the suspects were uh, victims' acquaintance. Actually, um, the family parents usually worry about their children going out and were sexually uh, abused by strangers. But actually, it happened with acquaintance, family members or neighbors around them. And uh, 945 is about when I first started my project. I went to a, high school, um, a primary school. And at that, at that time, before that woman, there were nine... Uh, fifth grade students were um, sexually harassed by a teacher, a uh, 45 years old teacher, and the school did not do much thing about that. They just moved the teacher to another school. That's uh, this important. And um, my our project is about um, I want to provide educational uh, workshops about sexual abuse for children, and we did two workshops with nearly 100 uh, students. But something else happened in the workshops during the time I I did my project, and that made me rethink about this project. It's about I got the letter from 12 year old girl, and she shared about when. Uh, her dad um, got, got drunk and he had some uh, inpro inappropriate behavior with her and I called the principal, I got the discussion with the principal at that school but she said that the dad is a great dad so that never happened but that's not the thing I want to hear from her, her with the school that I organized the workshop with and then after that I got the message from 22 year old girl, Vietnamese American girl and she's living in California but she hear about my story and then she contacted me on LinkedIn and then share with me about her story and how she can share this thing <coughs> with her parents from this specific two stories I think I really think that how I can make the project in a, an effect effective way a sustainable way and actually I'm still on the way thinking about that to be honest so that, that's one of the biggest uh, motivation for me to join the trip today. And I could love so much to hear from you guys' opinions and what we can do so that um, we can contribute um, for the future of the children and bring the smile for children, right? They deserve a better uh, and a bright childhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are interested in, please read more about the story of uh, Be A Brave Vietnamese uh, with uh, the English version here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I kind of laugh at whenever I uh, share about my uh, our project. It's kind of um, a lot of things uh, come in my mind. But yeah, uh, feel free yeah. to ask any questions. Yeah, you guys questions. Have two mind. minutes for questions. Great job. Thanks, yes, Matthew. Matthew. Please. Um, it seems like from the photo, your sexual harassment classes are only towards women or like girls. Yeah, actually, uh, no, with mm. boys and girls, because actually we usually mention about sexual harassment with girls, but actually it happened with boys as well. Oh. And the nine fifth grade students I mentioned, is that about six girls and three, three boys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it happened with boys and girls at the same time, not just only girls. Yeah, and we organize this for them, all of them, yeah. Okay. I'm curious about your collaborators, especially mm. since it's a very... Um, SPG topic. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, for the workshops, I organized with a uh, woman reunion. Uh, women union in my district. I came to them and said that uh, it's government office. Office. I came to them and said that okay, now I have um, this project idea, and I need finance to organize this project. And you know what? The government office they definitely have the budget for this kind of activities, but. For them, they also don't really know how they can organize the workshops or any projects in an effective way. And when I came to them with this idea, they're very happy to uh, support me with the finance for the workshops. Yeah. So for you all, if you are lack of budget, you can come to you can come to the government and try to talk to them. It's also a good resources for your finance. Yeah. Thank you. If you if you want to continue it as a non-profit, I will give you the website for free. Yeah. Oh.
I actually I'm 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 building uh, the website with be a be a very Vietnamese.com right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna um I, yeah, ask I can provide the server and the domain. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have the box here, bro. <laughs> I have an investor, so that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's a bitch, right? Yeah. Woo! Okay, let's see. Let's go. Thank you so much. Great job. Subscribe ke Bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas dan untuk video rekomendasi bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.